The 2018-19 UMBC Retrievers did not reach their goal of defending their America East Conference Championship, but oh, how close they came. And despite many potholes, how great was that ride. Without the services of 2018 all-rookie teamer Dan Aachen, UMBC won the Bimini Jam in November. Newcomer KJ Jackson announced his presence loudly with a 20-point effort versus Manhattan and a 31-point masterpiece at Drexel. Just as Aachen entered, Max Curran exited, suffering a season-ending hand injury. Then Aachen re-injured his knee and joined Curran on the sidelines for the rest of the season. But UMBC responded by winning nine of the next 10 games. Ricky Council's game-winning Trey versus UAlbany got things going in the right direction. In late January, high-flying Stony Brook came calling, but could not overcome some retriever black magic and an energized event center student crowd. The streak was capped three weeks later when UMBC handed Vermont its first road setback in 25 America East contests. And for the second consecutive year, UMBC hosted a pair of America East tournament games. They dispatched Albany in the quarterfinals before meeting Hartford for the second consecutive year in the semis. The retriever route was on as the Dogs built a 26-point lead early in the second. But five Hawks seniors had different ideas. Hartford rallied to take late regulation and first overtime leads. But Jackson and Brandon Horvath had clutch free throws to extend the UMBC season, and a late block shot by Jackson helped seal another championship game appearance for the black and gold. UMBC tried to make it three straight wins at Patrick Gym on championship Saturday, but it was the Catamounts who prevailed and represented America East well in the NCAA tournament. The 2018-19 Retrievers set a program record by winning 20 or more games for the third consecutive season. UMBC continued their dramatic defensive improvement, finishing 25th in the nation in team defense, up from a ranking of 288 just two seasons ago. Retriever Nation said farewell to seniors Nolan Garrity, Max Portman, Isaiah Rogers, Sam Schweitz, and Joe Sherburn. Sherburn completed a remarkable tenure on and off the court for the university. A two-time first-team academic All-American, he earned National Academic Team Member of the Year for the sport of men's basketball, the first in any sport in the history of the America East Conference. On the hardwood, he set UMBC records for games played and started, and the sharpshooter became the first retriever to amass 1,500 points, 600 rebounds, and 200 assists in a career. The 2019-20 Retrievers feature a bevy of experienced returners and an infusion of dynamic playmakers. Coach Odom enters year number four and feels this group is the most athletic from top to bottom to don the black and gold during his tenure. Moreover, the staff has been thrilled with the energy level that the group has displayed since convening for summer workouts. When we first arrived at UMBC, uh, you know, our core values obviously were very, very important to us. And we implemented those, our staff did. And uh, you know, to see our veteran guys now begin to teach the younger guys uh, you know, what it means to be a retriever is really special. Playing faster, um, trying to maintain the defense will probably be a key emphasis for us this year. And we just want to play faster just so you know, we can speed up the game a little bit more as far as us putting the ball in the, in the basket. We didn't do it at a high enough rate uh, for our standings last year. So we just want to be able to do that better, just getting guys more shots, getting open, getting, getting up and down faster. And as far as the defense standpoint, everything's going to pretty much stay the same. Um, we're still going to have those the same same level of energy, the same you know standards as far as where we want our defense to be. I think just coming in every day, getting them shots on your own, or coming together as a team, just in the gym all the time. I think that's been a big difference from previous years. Just getting in the gym, that shows that you love the game. You know, coming in, working on your own game, or coming in together as a team and working out. We push each other by. Whenever we're going through a tough time or a tough workout, we always refer to having a rabbit to chase. And that just means always have, having something to chase, whether you're the strongest or the fastest person on the team. There's always an end goal that we try to reach, and there's something bigger that we push it for. The Retrievers realize the challenges that lie ahead, 
but are completely committed to setting even higher standards for their program. Yeah, we have a tough schedule this year. That was a purposeful thing. Uh, we've got a veteran team coming back. Obviously, a lot of new faces here, uh, you know, at UMBC. But, uh, you know, we feel like it was the right move um, to challenge ourselves that, that way. I mean, uh, you know, there are a lot of good teams within our conference, obviously. Uh, that we'll have to deal with, uh, but the non-conference prepares you for that. And so we wanted to make sure that we had a tough non-conference to get us ready for the tough America East. We're committed to the players before us, we're committed to our school, and we're committed to each other. We're, um, we're just trying to continue what we have done in the past and uh, create more history and just continue the legacy that we started.